Okay. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Hero's Journey Project. We're at episode seven. Welcome back. Thank you very much for joining us. All right, let's see what we got today. Today I was reading, or uh, this week I was reading uh, some Wiz comics. So let's see what I've been up to this time. Okay. So first up, we have Wiz Comics number 44. There's a Captain Marvel story that I was reading and the Ibis, the Invincible story. Wiz Comics number 45, Captain Marvel story, Ibis, the Invinci Invincible story. That one as well. Now, I thought this was interesting. And so in Captain Marvel number 45, Here's a couple panels from that issue. And these are subsequent uh, or panels that are in sequence. And as you can see the coloring on the three uh, gentlemen Vikings that are attacking Taya, uh, they don't make sense from one panel to the next. All three characters are completely different colors. One guy you know, the, on the left panel, the guy in the front has blue with orange and then in the second panel, he's in red. And the uh, middle guy, the grayish beard is green and yellow on the left, and then orange on the right. Gentleman at the rear, all in red on the left, completely green in the back. I have no idea what the colors was thinking on that particular day, but this is, uh, errors in coloring are, are very common in these issues, not usually this kind of glaring. Um, you know, you might see a superhero with a different color cape or different characters. Their outfits change from one panel to the next, but this one is to have the colors change this much from in uh, panels that are in sequence is, uh, is quite the uh, glaring mistake here for sure. Next up, we have Wiz Comics number 46. Uh, sorry about the cover image. I guess it's a little mangled, uh, but I was reading the Captain Marvel story and the Ibis, the Invincible story. Now, in this issue, there's an appearance by Ibis's apprentice, who's named Banshee O'Brien, young lad, little kid. Uh, now, I've, from what I can tell, this is the apprentice's second and last appearance. Now, I didn't get to read about his first appearance. I didn't have access to the issue uh, that that comic was, or that 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 the appearance was in. Next up, we have Captain or Wiz Comics number forty-seven. I was reading the Captain Marvel story and the Ibis the Invincible story. Now, in the Captain Marvel story, uh, there's a lot of Fawcett characters who make care cameo appearances, one or two panels, celebrating. Captain Marvel's birthday, but he doesn't actually have a birthday, so they just sort of throw a party for him. But at the end of the issue, Captain Marvel, since he has no birthday, he asks you to write in to lend him your birthday. So I didn't see any subsequent mention of this writing campaign, so I'm not sure how this ends up, or I'm not sure what you would have written him to say. Uh, Sterling Morris, who is Billy Batson's boss at the radio station, he runs and wins election for Alderman. That takes place in the issue, and Captain Marvel's the one who helped him win the election. Who's comics number 48? Ibis, the Invincible, Captain Marvel stories. Uh, there's an appearance by Mary Marvel for fans of her appearances. This is one you should look at. She's definitely full appearance in this issue. <clears throat> Who's comics number 49? You have a Captain Marvel story with Ibis the Invincible story. And finally, the last issue I read for Wiz Comics was number 50. Captain Marvel appearance, Ibis the Invincible appearance. Some bad guys steal Captain Marvel suit, makes it his most embarrassing moment. All right, so... That's what I read this week. A uh, bunch of Wiz comics, some interesting stories there, interesting, some fun appearances. Uh, that's all I've got this week. I'll stop it for now. 
And you guys can uh, tune in next week to see what kind of crazy stuff I've been up to. Thanks for tuning in. Take care.